Okay. Let's go to the... I wouldn't say it's a rule. There's no rule in music. But one thing that I find important to do is... Especially with when it comes to melodies is... Start with the simplest thing and build over. So, for instance, um, the MIDI, the, tr the, um, the bass line, um, we're going to shorten this. We have a, the longer version here. Uh, but I'm going to make a copy and paste it here so that I get to know uh, where I am. And I'm going to just... Um, Put this to a very and I'm gonna go to my MIDI sequence. This is too complicated, I'm just gonna shorten it myself in one eight. idea okay I like this I'm gonna just pull it closer to thing and the kick um, you know we, we got a simple kick we I'm, I'm not super happy with it but it's it's a start uh, okay cool um, and uh, I'm gonna drop this here Okay, so what I see is this will be building and building. I'm just gonna insert another audio, another MIDI. And uh, I like to have multiple, sometimes I can have like this one sending MIDI to here as well. So that could be an option, but I wanna start like no time to waste again. That's our motto. And we're gonna take this part and drop it here like this and just gonna good thing with Ableton is I can take both and then see what's happening by grabbing the two clips then I can see and then I see that they are some notes are playing at the same time okay so maybe this one Turn enough for now I don't want it to be too off. Okay, cool. Hats. Okay, some are not working well. This one is too long. I think I want to go for, well, we said techno, so we are going to uh, make sure that we go for something maybe a little bit more synthetic instead of, uh, these are organic sounding hats, and I'm not sure I want to go in that direction. Okay, 
that's not the one we wanted. I'm going to bring it down here. Where's my thing? Oh, it's here. Sometimes I'm a bit clumsy. And uh, the 33 here is a good spot for having a first round of changes and uh, might I might look into that. The reason why is <clears throat> uh, DJs, you know, they mix every bar is four, two bars, eight, and then 16, 32. So you kind of want to feed the DJ with certain details they can they can use in their mixing by having changes at, at proper timing. And uh, 33 is usually kind of a first round of sequencing that's happening here. And then we can start building our, our, our sequence a little bit higher on that. I'm gonna just gonna chop and here I'm gonna be bringing more material and uh, just build over that so maybe I can extend it to two. I'm gonna change the color as well so I don't get lost. Whoops, same color, different color. And these make sure that are uh, quantized as well. <clears throat> That's that's pretty good. So I'm gonna bring this here. Okay, so it plays three times and then there's a variation. Three times there's a variation. And why not here uh, move this uh, here. And so we have a second variation here. It's gonna put it in blue. Grab this like this. Okay, so there's the first variation, second variation, three variation, fourth variation, maybe you could have something like that. Okay, let's quickly check how it sounds. Very subtle. And see, uh, one bar, two bar, three bar, and then at 17, there's something, 33, there would be something else. And I got my my initial structure. I find that if you can nail down the first minute, it's gonna really help after that go faster, like this way. And um, I like the claps a lot. That works. That was a good pick. And uh, the hats, still not convinced, but it works. Can get maybe some eight wish or seven oh seven. I like the seven oh seven. Uh, here, I'm gonna bring 707. I have something in mind. Something like this would be cool. And, uh, a to Uh not reset. Kicks are always really cool. This a lot. I'm loading a few kicks in here. 
can move them later but it's going to be for tests and I like to have a second kick to give an accent to the first one um, you know like a, in your song you want to have a certain swing you want to have a certain uh, some sound some sounds will be less loud some other will be louder and this will will create kind of a, a groove of course that's the word I was looking for uh, right now there's not much swing that's something I want to look into later but uh, I need to start somewhere and right now I'm looking for hats kind of like this like I said, I can use the transient only if I want. Ah, that's good. Very good. Great. Perfect. Um, now we have a lot and uh, I can start programming with this. Might use the push. Will I? I'm not sure. But uh, let's see what we have. about having variations like this it's helping tell the listener hey something's coming um, you know in the psychology of how people listen to music they want to feel like they understand your language and the more they understand your language the more they will connect to the song and what's really interesting is finding the ratio between feeding the listener with an amount of things that they see coming versus things that they don't see coming. And if you balance things out just the right way, you keep people engaged in your song. And, and these little details, uh, it's like you're defining the language of the song in the first minute, more or less. Uh, and if you really grab the, the person there, then the person will be more uh, receptive to the rest of the song. Um, one thing that is very important to me that I haven't done yet, it's not important to do it now, but it's, it's quite useful. It's finding a background. Uh, right now, the song does a, have one, and usually songs, uh, I have a background sound. And there's multiple ways to do that. Uh, you can have like an, uh, just like a field recording or you can have, um, I don't know, you can have uh, noise uh, simply. Uh, the reason why is if you go in the quietest place on earth, uh, maybe not that quiet, but even a desert or, or uh, in the forest where there's not much noise and you record sound, there will be a noise floor. And for the human ear, it's something comforting. And I like to have that in, uh, in the song. So I'm just gonna create one or look for something on my, my computer because I have a lot of uh, different options. And uh, I mean, a reverb is a good way of creating background noise like that because reverb is, uh, of course, it's a form of noise. So see, this is a field recording. Could be playing really, really low. Talking about the hospital. That could be... Okay, I'm gonna give that a shot. I'm gonna put that really low. Minus 20.
I don't want something with a note for my background. I want something uh, inharmonic, a tonal, um, because it could clash with the melody. I could take um, a white noise and shape it with the LFO. That could also be. Uh, that could be interesting. Okay, I'm gonna try. I like this. I'm not sure where that comes from. I have a... Uh, I'm collecting a lot of sounds. And uh, unfortunately, it's a bit chaotic sometimes. That's scary. I'm not going to use that. Light has been fading into gray. Hmm. Okay, uh, what about feel? Okay, not much more. Okay, so I guess we'll, we'll try to do something with those. I like the beginning of this. That's better than the hospital. I don't want hospital related content with my music. Well, at least not today. Uh, compressor. There's many ways I could just use also a utility here. I like compression. Add certain... There's a little bit of percussion in it, which is cool. I don't really want to hear the reverb, but just a bit.
like to uh, put my sounds in uh, in order of how they start in the song. So the ones that start right from the beginning, I'll put them more up. Uh, and, and, and you see the clap is coming a bit later, so it's lower in the sequence of things. Mm -hmm. 